Hey guys, welcome back to Seller Sessions. We are in Vegas. Uh, today I've got Steve with me. Steve, do you want to give us a bit of background on yourself? Hey, yeah, my name's Steve Cesari, and uh, I hail from uh, New York originally. And my brother and I, over the last 30 years, have been helping uh, to build and develop world class brands and world class people. And uh, we've worked on some brands from the George Foreman Grill, the Sonic Care. OxyClean GoPro camera. We're real good on helping taking uh, great products and concepts and helping build national brands out of them. Excellent. So if we were to break that down a bit, we, we met in the food, food queue last night, didn't we? As we, we come did. in, both a little bit jet lagged. You were trying to order a cheeseburger and you had a little trouble. You, you, you were trying, you really wanted fish and chips though, right? I think because like, yeah, being English, I definitely <laughs> like the fish and chips thing. But what interested, was most interesting for me and for our audience is the fact that a lot of our guys are on Amazon and some people use that as their whole business rather than a channel. Right. Now what you do is a wraparound which is even larger, like you mentioned the George Foreman grill and stuff. So how would you be able to say take a, a really successful product on Amazon? What would be the stages that you take it to for the next realm? Yeah, well, well, again, we work with select entrepreneurs and businesses because, mm -hmm. again, it's got to be a, a disruptive product that will really uh, engage and disrupt a category that it's in. And when we find them, what we do is we have what we call the Cesare Ignite 360 degree sales cycle. And, and literally, I like to tell people we were Shark Tank before Shark Tank for the last 30 years we've been helping introduce people to our channel partners, digital marketing, social media, uh, retail relationships, public relations, and obviously Amazon is a component of what we do, but we've been finding a lot of our new clients are people that have been doing exclusive business on Amazon and don't know how to market off Amazon. So what we do is come in and working with our channel partners, which are former executives at Amazon, help them maximize their experience there, but then help them move beyond Amazon and 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 again if their product makes sense to do on the shopping channels or digital marketing outside of Amazon retailers we open up those doors and avenues and and again because of our 30-year track record uh, when we walk to one of our channel partners uh, they open the door uh, whether it's at the shopping channel QVC uh, or some of the retailers that we work with. Yeah, I mean, what's interesting, what you're saying is about being disruptive. And the thing is, sometimes with Amazon is a tricky one because in order to get visibility on Amazon, you need keywords. And in order to have keywords, something has to exist. So I'll take it that if someone came to you is that you'd have to have a product that still has visibility on Amazon in terms of keywords, but it denotes a lot of difference in terms of differentiation from other products out there, would you say? Well, exactly, and what we do is take our 30 plus years of experience on learning what makes uh, uh, products unique in the marketplace, and we take those learnings and, and, and you, uh, just utilize that on Amazon. So, uh, you know, even when you're on Amazon, uh, everybody's fighting for the same eyeballs and the same dollars, and what we try to do is look at how do we create uh, a unique message uh, and again, you got to remember that we are looking for a unique product uh, for that message to resonate about. And so, when we uh, when we take that and and help people really formulate how to differentiate that message, how to hit their target audience, uh, and then work through our channel partners on Amazon, it helps us stand a, a, apart from you know the the what can be dozens or hundreds of other people retailing. Uh, on Amazon. So we really try to work with people that have something that's not quite the ordinary product on there uh, and, and then help them to really distinguish it by understanding who their demographic is and then uh, how to craft a unique message to reach that demographic. Uh, on Amazon and off Amazon. Yeah, so for, for basically, for clarity here is it's not, you know, with private label, um, private label sellers it's almost that step into the industry you know learning is like you're taking an existing product in terms of music it's like doing a remix you're remixing the exactly. product rather than creating a, a brand new one so this is obviously more for people that have got their feet wet in terms of developing private label products in terms of taking an existing product 
making the changes, improving on it, and then taking the next step where they're actually designing the product from scratch and they're making the molds and they're coming up with unique products is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, for the most part, that's what we've worked with. And I'll just use the George Foreman grill. There were grills, hundreds of grills on the marketplace. Yeah. And actually when the George Foreman grill first came out, it was called the Taco Express. Yeah. And the reason it has all those grooves in there is because they, you would, they wanted to cook the hamburger and you could scrape it right into the taco. Mm. Well, back when we were putting this together, we realized that health and nutrition was a really big uh, key word out there in the marketplace and we repositioned it from the Taco Express to uh, the George Foreman grill obviously we got George Foreman to participate and, and and that's another unique aspect that we do we always try to have a spokesperson uh, and a face of the brand because brands that have faces and spokespersons with them over time tend to be the most successful. So it's not just a product. You know, a lot of people stopped on the channel because they saw George Foreman and recognized him and wanted to know, well, gosh, if he's endorsing this product, it must be credible and I I, I probably need to stop and get one. Yeah, yeah. And, and which brings us around to the conference. Uh, we're at Retail Global in Las Vegas. Um, you're here speaking as well. What's the subject matter you would be speaking on? Uh, we're going to be talking about the six uh, attributes of the successful brands that we have worked with. And, and again, a lot of people think we only work with major brands because of the, their household names now. Well, nobody knew who they were when we first started working with them. Uh, and, and so typically what we do is talk about uh, the things that made those products successful. I'm going to be talking about the six attributes uh, all those products that we talked about had in common and then talk about how you can take your product and actually look to make it stand out among all of the other uh, products that are out there yeah. uh, by driving and creating a brand. And I do this with my brother and, 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 and we call ourselves the brand brothers. We've been doing this for a long, a long time. time yeah. yeah, a long time. And uh, again, we've generated over four and a half billion direct to consumer sales and uh, love doing it and excited to always meet new people and new environments and are excited to see uh, who we're going to meet in the next couple of days at uh, Retail Global. Excellent. And if you were to give an, uh, some advice to an Amazon seller or a group of Amazon sellers, what's the key things that you would advise them on now on day one? Uh, you know, we met some folks at a uh, show out in Las Vegas three months ago called The Prosper Show, and, mm -hmm. and they were all Amazon sellers and resellers. And literally, they were all buying products in China and selling them on, on Amazon. And their own words, we buy crap in China and sell it. Don't buy crap. Find out how you can differentiate yourself. Don't try to be a copycat and do what everybody else is doing. Again, if you, there's a difference between making money and building a brand. Everybody can sell stuff to make money. Very few people can build a brand. And that's always what we're looking for. What is unique about your product? What is unique about your offering? How can you differentiate yourself from all of the other thousands and thousands of products and brands that are on Amazon so people will stop and exclu exclusively want to buy your product or your service? Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, thanks for your time today. Uh, do you, uh, uh, how can people reach you if they want to access your services? Uh, CesareIgnite.com is the best place to catch us. Uh, my brother Rick and I and a, a couple other colleagues uh, are, are there and, and again uh, we do uh, a lot of uh, social media so we're out there my brother Rick wrote a book about marketing I wrote a book called clarity how to get it how to keep it how to use it to balance your life so always trying to engage people and help them be the best version of themselves and help them uh, create the best version of their business thank you cheers my, today thank my, you my pleasure thank you take care